Yo, what's going on guys? So I'm back and in today's video we've got the rarest coins in circulation. So before I get into the video, there is a thing I am doing. So <coughs> here you have is Gork Box. So if you download any of these, it will tip me money. When it tips me money, I'll be doing giveaways for Q Gardens, um, Commonwealth Games, Undated 20Ps, um, all of that stuff that you need to be honest, like that you need in your collections. So you could do proof coins anything like that silver proof so if you just go onto this link the link will be in the description once you download these so if you click more tips there's different things and you can tip me money once it tips me money at the end of the month i'll be doing big big giveaways for you guys and the way you do it is if you send me emails um so after you've completed these requests just send me a picture or something to my email which will be in the description and i will make sure that i put you in a drawer to enter, so something like a Q Gardens, um, undated 20p, all of that sort of stuff. So just make sure you do all this. Like I said, uh, link in the description and email in the description. Screenshot, provide proof that you've done it, and you can do as many times as you want. Every time you do it, is one go, and you'll get one go in the raffle. So once you download it, once you do one thing, you will get and put into the raffle. So if you do ten things, you have ten chances to win, and I'll either do it by um live or on um different sites i'm not sure yet just let me know in description link and all that in description so let's get into this video so <coughs> i won two pounds with a scratch card anyway right let's get into this so the rarest 50 p's are the q gardens so this so the q gardens this goes for about 70 to 90 pound at the moment um, you can buy these off cheap from other places, so for like £60, £70, you might get them for. So if you do, you're lucky. And there's 210,000 of these, so, you know, a lot of people have these now. I know some of the 600 of these. So they're going to start to get hard, you know, to get them. I luckily have about eight of these, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, so the WWF, that goes for about £4, £3 off of eBay. Um, I'm showing you like the rarest coins are in circulation that go for a, a bit above face value so at least triple or quadruple their face value so <laughs> WWF is about three four pounds you never know eBay sometimes they go for about six to seven pounds same as the suffragette people think these are gonna be the next rarest coins after the Q gardens so either you need to hurry up and get these I don't know someone who has at least like 400 of the WWFs and everything. Um, triathlon, so these are Olympic ones. You can get these in your change. So triathlon's about six to seven pound. No, I think it's about nine pound actually. I've seen one go on eBay earlier for nine pound. Um, so once this is nine pound, um, it also goes for like, I don't know, nine pounds on eBay and about seven, Eight not set about seven to eight pound on Facebook groups as there's no fees or anything, and yeah, so um, same with the football, football's about nine pound, eight pound that goes for about that on eBay, but on Facebook groups, it's about seven to eight pound, and wrestling's about six pound. I've seen this sell for six pound on Facebook quickly, easily. I've had loads of these, but I've just lost them to be honest in my room, but. Yeah, it's definitely worth keeping hold of these as these will keep rising in the future. So let's go to the Commonwealth for two pounds. So you, here you have Scotland. This goes for about seven. To, seven. Yeah, about seven to eight pound. Um, you know, you can get these off Facebook groups really easily. There's loads of people. This guy has a tin full of all of these, and he has hundreds of these. So. Um, you'll see lots of people over Facebook, eBay, they're all over eBay, they're flooded on eBay. I wouldn't pay anything more than £8 for Scotland. Wales is about £8 as well. Um, so England, wait, let me move that. So these three, England, Wales and Scotland are about £7, £8, £9 each. A bit more than uh, their face value. So if you see one of these, make sure you keep hold of it, sell it or use it for your collection. As you can see, so there's a difference between wait there. There's a difference between the English and the Northern Ireland flag. 
as you can see at the top of it, let me grab a pen. So at the top of it here, um, there, it's just like flat but on this one, wait, wait till it um, focuses, there's a lump, oh, it's quite hard, there's a lump there on the flag. So that's how you can tell. It's quite easy once you get the hang of it, but if it's sort of faded, it's harder to tell. Um, so yeah, Northern Islands, um, very hard to get. I've had one of these in my bank runs before, um, before I start recording. Um, this goes for, I think, £30 pound now at the moment. I've seen one of these sell for £30 pound on eBay. I got one for £22 pound off Facebook the other month to complete my collection. I have three sets of these, I think. So, you know, you find them and you um, have to buy them at one point. So I've seen, you're going to think, this is the Royal Arms Shield 1988 one, I think. Yeah, 1988. I've seen this stuff for about £6. I'm not sure if this does sell, but all the time. I've seen it odd times, six five pounds but I wouldn't say anything more than that. So here you have the rarest £1 coins. Edinburgh. Um... How much? Someone put this on Facebook today for £10. Buy it now. So they're like, if you can have it for £10. Um, I didn't pick it up because I don't really need it. Um, Cardiff is about £8 or £9 I've seen. Edinburgh is worth a lot more. I think it's about 15 quid. Cardiff about £9. I've got a spare one of these. I might give that away. Uh, so yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. Try one pound. So people are gonna think, oh yeah, it's illegal to spend. You can't get these in your change. I saw on Facebook this woman said, "Look what I just got in my change." It's dated 2015. So she got it in her change at an arcade. So if you need one of these, you never know. You might get one in your change at one point. But if you do, keep hold of it as it's worth about 150 pound. So definitely keep hold of it. HMS Belfast. Um. As you can see at the top, let me get a pen. As you can see around here, there's sort of like, it should be normal, but it's got a flag. Um, let me get, what, let's get the book. Um, where is it? Is it over here? Um, there. So as you can see, it's just plain there. This is worth about £4, but with the flag error, it is worth about 12 to fifteen pound, I've seen. Um, definitely worth getting. You know, I'm gonna keep this for ages if they rise in value. But if not, then I'll just keep it anyway. Um, so you know, there's like two P coins. I haven't got it yet, but if it's dated 1983 and it says new pence, this is two pence because it's over 1983. But if it says, does this have new pence on it? Perfect. Yeah. Um. So here you go, here's a new pence one. If it's dated 1983, it's worth about um, over a grand, I'd say. This one's dated 1980. So 1983 says new pence, you're looking at a grand there. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see giveaways, make sure you always, you know, download the tip me bits. So if I get money, I'll definitely give away one of these. Um, because it shouldn't take more than a month to gain about 60 quid as I can get these for about that. Um, if I've got them here. But here's another three. I can always give, I might give away these as well. But it just depends, I need the tips. I'm not gonna spend on anything else, it's just gonna be purely for giveaways. Nothing else, just giveaways to you guys. Um, I can give away like albums, um, so as you can see you've got the different coin albums over here, people say they haven't got them yet, um, let me just type in my parcel quickly, um, yeah, so what you guys want to do is, it's just mobile strikes, so download any of this, so if you get to level 5, it will tip me $7. And then at the end of the month, go on earnings, 
and then if it goes to like eighty dollars or something, I'll definitely be giving away some stuff. Um. So yeah, you want to email the stuff to me? So I email it on my um. What's it called? To my email, just send me pictures of you actually doing it. Um. And yeah, so I'll definitely be picking some people. If you guys want some Kew Gardens, you know you definitely want to do this. There's also an undated 20p. Do I have one? No, I sold it the other day. So it's a 20p coin. Um, it is it has no date, but the date is actually 2008. It came out in. So if, if you look at two, uh, a 20p, and it has no date on it whatsoever, let me see if I've got a 20p in my wallet. Um, is this the right one? No. So here's the 20p. It shouldn't have this design on it. The design it should have is. Let me just tip my money out. I don't think I have it. Really. What about this one? Yeah. So it should have this design on it, and then it should have like no date on it. But this one does. This one's dated 2015. So yeah. Make sure that if you've seen one of these in your change, it has no date on it, then you're definitely in for some money. They're about 60 quid. You can get loads of two pound coins that have like inverted figures. So if you got this, yeah, it, there's a Britannia coin. So if you have it like this and you flip it, so this is the normal design, and then you flip it round, the coin's head should be like that. That goes for about 200 to 300 pound. So yeah. So remember the giveaway guys. If you want a big giveaway. Make sure you do the tip me thing. Money will be going only on giveaways. And maybe for a better camera. Or anything for the video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.